Let's start with a holy cow. Have you been outside today? I mean, it has gone um, right on into spring in terms of the feeling in the air. So one of the stories when I did the Sunrise Show on Channel 8 this morning was that I talked about how deep and dark the cloud layering was on Wednesday. Remember yesterday, the daytime temperature went from 49 to 51, just a two degree variance yesterday because of that deep cloud deck that never really brightened up at all. And I said, well, you know what, today, the, the moisture layering of the clouds looks to be a little thinner. We might get some thin spots or, or, or some, some sun breaks mixed in as the shower chance continues. So I was thinking along the right path, but what I didn't see was this poof, the skies or the clouds breaking. A lot of us here inland had a ton of sun. Here's uh, one of my favorite spots in the Northwest. I think it's so pretty. This is the Mount Hood, Oregon Resort uh, up in Welch's at 1500 feet and their beautiful golf course. If you haven't been there, it sets the golf course in kind of a U-shaped valley. It's really super gorgeous. But look at the top. This is not a typo. Portland temperature has made it to at least 63 degrees today. 63! And the high, when the climate report comes out, may be as warm as 64. First day of February. Guess what? Until today, the record for the first day of February was 61 degrees, something that we did back in 1962. And we matched that 61 degree record high on February 1st of 1986. And then today passed it in a brand new record high. What a way to start the new month. Just absolutely nuts, I think, um, how incredibly warm it, ha it has been. All right, let me get, uh, there we go. Sorry, it's kind of struggling here a little bit. All right, so this is the temperature map at 3.30 this afternoon. Notice Portland's the warmest spot, right? Portland has been cooler than other inland valley locations for the last week plus. And the reason and we've talked about this, an east wind out of the gorge that kind of blew cooler air and kept this little sliver of an area around Portland and the Columbia River a little bit cooler. Remember last weekend, Salem was in the low to mid 60s, I think it was, and Portland was in the low 50s. Boy, the tables finally flipped today. We started off this morning with the east wind, the direction coming out of the gorge still from the east, but no longer strong. It was only been east to like five to 10 miles per hour today. And that was not enough to stop any warming. And at the time that temperatures zipped up into the 60s this afternoon in the North Valley, southwest winds picked up and have been gusting uh, out at the airport. Let's see here. 3.30, the southwest wind was 17 sustained gusts to 28. That brought in warm air advection and the temperature just popped. Absolutely incredible to me, the warming that we have seen. If, you know, the way we're trained as forecasters to look at air mass indices, what the air mass would support, I suppose you can make the case the air mass would support 66 degrees, but but not really this time of the year. So I'm really surprised how warm it got. All right, enough of that. Hope you enjoyed it. Our family took our dog out walking. Never seen so many people walking their dogs in a long time this afternoon. It's the first time in the 60s and the warmest here in Portland since the first week of December when we had a couple of days that popped up into the 60s. All right, here's the satellite picture. A couple of things I want to point out. It's got the surface map over it. So this big low right in here, this has been our driving force. It's brought us the rain shower activity that we've had the last several days. We still have some areas of Oregon, including the coast, getting rain showers this afternoon. Just that the valley found itself in this little dry area. And boy, temperatures really responded. We had earlier this morning heavier rain down in Los Angeles that then dropped to the south towards San Diego on the Mexican border. There's a little frontal boundary back here. By the way, this rain in California is around the same low that's parked off of the coast of Oregon and Washington. So this is impacting all of the West Coast weather. But if you look at the satellite picture, see how there's like a circle here with the, with no clouds in the middle? That's what we call the low pressure center opening up. It's a sign of weakening. And because of that, the, the rain bands ahead of this low and the moisture that was pretty solid yesterday in terms of deep clouds and, low, and light rain at times, the, the moisture bands have really spread out. And you were either in a spot getting some rain or you've been dry most of the day. So that happens sometimes. And that's what happened to us. See the speckled clouds here on the satellite picture? That's cool um, cumulus cloudiness. So there is, in fact, a trough of cool weather out here in the Pacific. And I've been singing this song of we would get a little bit cooler, a little bit cooler. Thought we'd be a little bit cooler today, but instead we went crazy. 
So tomorrow it's the same overall moisture feed. I mean, we're at least going to be in the 50s tomorrow. And if we get sun, maybe it's surprisingly warm again. This low weakens and then drops down to the south over the weekend. I'm, I'm holding on to it. I know it seems absurd to say it now because it's been dry in 63. But there's a shower chance still in the forecast, including tonight, including tomorrow. Still at least a chance of a scattered or spotty shower Saturday. And then right now I have Sunday being being um, dry. As this low drops to the south, it's going to pick up some energy that's coming in from the southwest Pacific. And it will turn into a low that's going to be our next likely rainmaker on Monday. So more on that coming up in just a moment. I do want to show you this. This is from the uh, National Weather Service office down in Medford. So everything in blue here is a winter storm watch, basically for Sunday into Monday. From that developing low to our southwest off the California coast that I just mentioned. So again, this is um, mostly northern California, including the Shasta area. But it does include the east slopes um, of the Klamath Falls area. Okay, so here's getting up in, and here's Crater Lake. There's Silver Lake. So it's interesting. It's more along the east slopes of the Cascades and not really the Cascades themselves. We've been down to Crater Lake, you know, Silver Lake's. Not that far away, really. Um, and that's the area along the east slope that's under a winter storm watch. A lot of this area looking to pick up some pretty hefty snow. I'm going to show you that in a moment. So what does this mean? It means that if you're traveling down into California on I-5 over the Siskiyou Summit area this Sunday, Monday into Tuesday, you should prepare for winter weather and you'll be checking weather conditions to see what the passes look like. I mean, today, Siskiyou Summit's dry. It's wonderful. It's 43 degrees. But just realize this is a part of our state that's going to be looking at some significant winter weather uh, in the in the um, in the first days of next week. So you'll want to keep updated on that. OK, this is going to show you um, what the snow potential is down there. So this is actually starting the uh, Friday morning. This is starting Friday morning. Some light snow down around the Sierra and then some snow showers in the the Mount Shasta area, Southern Oregon picking up as we go into Saturday, some Cascade snow. Now we're going to play this into Sunday. Now here's the winter storm hours, Sunday into Monday. And look at the snow. I'm going to stop this Monday afternoon at 4 o'clock. This is feet of snow in the Sierra and the Lake Tahoe Basin. They haven't had much snow lately, so that's great news for them. This is also feet of snow um, down around Mount Shasta. Some decent snow, especially in the southern Oregon Cascades. This shows six inches. Um, I think that's going to be too small. Remember, the winter storm watch calls for six to nine inches of snow in this area of the Cascades, especially over on the east slopes that I just showed you. It does bring, with snow levels around 4,000, maybe 4,500 feet, it brings at least some snow up around Mount Hood in the Cascades. So this is our weather turning active. The back half of the weekend are actually here at home around Portland and Mount Hood. <laughs> Pardon me. It's more like a Monday into Tuesday of next week. Okay, so a lot to keep an eye on right there. Let's go ahead and look at the flow pattern. This is uh, the American GFS model. 540 contours when you get cooler weather and you get some deep troughing. Um, although we've learned today, it doesn't mean you're going to have cold weather at the surface, but it's chillier up top. Snow levels this afternoon up on a Mount Hood have come down to around 4,500 feet. Anyway, there's that low we saw in the satellite picture. It's weakening. It's parked offshore. There's the ongoing trough where they've had the rain channeling down into California. See this 564 line? That's the main jet. That's why the rain has been heavy down in Southern California the last day or two. That's where the main jet flow is. Okay. So let's play this into tomorrow. That low is still off of our shore. We still at least have the chance of a shower. But it could end up being partly cloudy and crazy warm again with showers in some areas and not others. And then I talked about this as we go into the weekend. Now, here's the low kind of dropping south. Here's Saturday. It's still off of our shoreline. You know what that means? At least a chance for a spotty shower. And then by Sunday, I think it gets away far enough to our south that our forecast is totally dry. But as it drops to the south, there's new energy feeding in. And there's that developing low. That's This is Sunday at 4 p.m. right here that's going to produce the winter storm conditions in the Siskiyou. I'm not sure what the snow level is going to be over the Siskiyou summit area. This is either going to be wet, heavy snow and really a problem for travelers, or uh, I just looked at this. Um, it could be kind of a wet mix over the Siskiyou summit, but keep an eye. 
a lot of moisture with the system down in Northern California in the southwestern corner of our state, uh, as we just saw. And eventually it shoots rain, showers up into Portland and, and the Willamette Valley in southwest Washington uh, during, the, not this weekend, but during the day Monday. See how broad the trough is? This is Monday afternoon. We're getting rain. We're getting some snow up around Mount Hood. There's um, a second little wave that comes in with a front. This is Wednesday right in here. That brings us some likely rain next week. Kind of keeps our temperatures, you would think, not much above 50. And then the models have been back and forth. But you go into a week from this weekend, a week from this weekend, after everything I showed you, here's some quiet weather and some weak ridging. That could give us a run of, of not only dry, but some really mild temperatures well up into the 50s. I don't want to say flirting with 60, but after today, who knows? It's This is the 12th day of February. So how long could we have some dry weather? Models have been going back and forth and really hinting hard that, <clears throat> pardon me, that we're going to get into a big stretch of mild weather mid-February and then that back half of the month. Not saying the entire back half of the month is going to be dry and mild and crazy warm, but it's going to be a pretty good stretch in there somewhere. Okay. Right now, yeah, Portland 63, but raining over the coast range and raining at the beach. Can you? Are you kidding me? Talk about being in the, the bullseye of a correct spot. I mean, just crazy. Here's a, If you look down here, you've got lightning down in California, but we're pretty quiet. Just rain showers. And some of the rain pockets, especially up in the Washington, have been fairly heavy. But overall, uh, what a nice day. Quick check of the mountain. They had partly cloudy skies, too. Timberline 36, Meadows 43, Ski Bowl 38. Mainly sun and flurries into the weekend up there with some comfortable temperatures and not crazy warm. 40 on Sunday at government camp. And there's that snow picking up Monday into Tuesday, but possibly past temperatures holding above freezing. So... Right now, obviously, traveling over the Cascades is great. It's been dry. It's been mild. 42 at government camp. No issues there whatsoever. You know, the gorge, uh, I mentioned the east winds out of the Columbia River Gorge finally faded today. And it's allowed some warming. In fact, nearing 50 in Hood River and the Dalles. That's the warmest you folks have been for a while. Look at the Indian Creek Golf Course camera. It's been snow covered for a couple of weeks. Finally, the snow is all gone out in the gorge. Talking upper 40s into the weekend for the Columbia River Gorge. Let me do a real quick uh, check on Central Oregon. 52 in Bend right now is your current number. Tomorrow, you folks, kind of a mix of partly sunny, sunny skies, maybe a light shower here and there. Pretty quiet day overall, 45. This does show you'll get freezing tonight. Um, and then mostly sunny, 45 on Saturday. So a nice, kind of seasonally nice weekend over in Bend. This shows sunshine, 45. Scattered shower chance, maybe Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening with that moisture coming up from the south. And then there's the overcast skies with some moisture in central Oregon, but not terribly cold. Again, it's coming up from the south, 41 in Bend on Monday and 42 on Tuesday. So we're keeping an eye on that. Portland, seven day, 54 tomorrow. You got to wonder if it's going to be warmer, especially if it's partly cloudy with practically no rain. Saturday, a shower chance for the last day, 50. Again, you got to wonder if it's going to be warmer. It's the same overall, same overall batch of air that we've got right now. I mean, the air indices look to be a little bit cooler, but we'll see. Sunday, I've removed any rain chance. There's the showers increasing during the day. Monday could turn out to be kind of wet by Monday afternoon. <clears throat> and then whenever you look at a 70 this time of the year, and you've got rain, dry, rain, dry, be leery of the timing on days four, five, six, seven. This could easily change. But right now, showers picking up Monday, a dry Tuesday. That weather system dropping in Wednesday for rain from the northwest and then back to dry on Thursday, okay? All right, that's your update. Um, the big story is to give you a heads up on that southwestern Oregon, northern California system coming in with winter storm watches on Sunday, Monday, and into Tuesday. Uh, subscribe if you haven't to my weather channel. I appreciate it. My weather site's portlandweather.com. I'm Rod Hill. I'll talk to you soon.